na mbarabara kabisa karibu tena mpenzi msikilizaji wa uchambuzi wa kazi mbalimbali za fasi na maanisha riwaya ushairi pamoja na tamthilia na leo hii nimekusogezea novo yani riwaya inayofahamika kwa jina la houseboy ambapo mwandishi wa novo yetu anafahamika kwa jina la Ferdinand Oyono ah mpenzi msikilizaji a uh, setting of our book is in Cameroon uh, during the period of colonialism. Ah uh, mpenzi msikilizaji manzari ya kitabu chetu hichi kilichopewa jina la Houseboy ni katika nchi ya Cameroon lakini wakati wa ukoloni. As we remember in 1963 uh, Cameroon was under a uh, colonial a uh, French colonial rule. Kwamba kama tunavyokumbuka kuanzia miaka 1963 uh, nchi ya Cameroon ilikuwa chini ya ukoloni ambako taifa liko likifanya ukoloni katika nchi ya Kameruni lilikuwa ni taifa la Ufaransa. Kwa hiyo mandhari ya kitabu chetu a uh, ni wakati wa ukoloni. It means wakati ambapo Kameruni haijapata uhuru. Sasa tuangalie kwa ufupi kitabu chetu kinahusu nini. Uh, House Boy is a novel that tells about Toundi, an African boy who find himself working for the French priests uh, when he escapes brutality of his father. Kwamba Ichi kitabu au hii riwaya inaoitwa kwa inaofahamika kwa jina la houseboy. Houseboy kwa Kiswahili itaweza tukasema ni mfanyakazi wa kiume ambaye anafanya kazi ndogo ndogo za nyumbani zile domestic work. Kinyume chake ndo tunasema ni house girl. Sasa houseboy hii ni riwaya ambayo inaelezea maisha ya Toundi ambaye alikimbia ukatili wa baba yake mzazi na kwenda kwa mchungaji. Toundi works for the father Gilbert to whom he used to love na akaenda kufanya kazi kwa Father Gilbert ambaye Father Gilbert alimpenda mno hapo mbele tutaona na jinsi gani Father Gilbert alipompenda mpaka akaanza kuanza kumfundisha kusoma na kuandika so later on he was taken by the commandant employed him as the houseboy lakini baadaye alikuja akachukuliwa na mhusika mwingine na yafahamika kwa jina la commandant ambaye alimchukua na akamwajili kama houseboy yani kama mfanyakazi wa kiume wa kazi za pale nyumbani Tondo's life was not uh, was not so much good with the commandant and especially after the arrival of the wife of commandant known as madame. Na maisha ya Tondo ndio kuanzia hapo hayakuwa mazuri kabisa. Tena ugumu wa maisha ulikuja baada ya mke wa commandant ambaye alikuwa anafahamika kwa jina la madame madame kufika pale nyumbani maisha kwa Tondo hayakuwa mazuri. Akaanza kuwa oppressed, tortured and humiliated e, baada ya kuondoka Uh, kwa father Gilbert ambaye alikuwa akimpenda mno. Now nikependa nikuelezee ni jinsi gani uh, ili title of the book Houseboy lina relation kipi na content ambayo ipo ndani ya kitabu. Kwamba how the title Houseboy reflect uh, what has been explained in the book. Uh, kwa sasa nitakuelezea ni jinsi gani ili jina la kitabu Houseboy lina akisi kile kilichozungumzwa ndani ya kitabu. Uh, The title of the novel is delivered from one of the character known as Toundi who is houseboy of white men like Father Gilbert. Kwa mbele jina houseboy limekuja kutokana na mhusika anayefahamika kwa jina la Toundi kufanya kazi kwa wazungu kama vile Father Gilbert kwa kana anafanya kazi kama houseboy. So in his servantship as houseboy he is brainwashed to believe that his cultural is nothing and hence abandoned his culture kwamba katika kufanya kazi kama houseboy ndipo wazungu walipomfanyia kitu kinaitwa brainwashing wakaanza kumpumbaza na kumwambia utamaduni wako wewe haufai kwa inabidi uadapt utamaduni mwingine so he changes his name pale pale akabadilisha jina lake and he so a uh, called baptism baptism and take the name of joseph na akafanyiwa ubatizo na akapewa jina la Joseph. So the houseboy symbolizes the exploited and the colonized African who rules their identity. Kwa hili neno houseboy limetumika kama symbol, kwamba lina symbolize wa Afrika ambao wamepoteza identity yao, wamepoteza utambulisho wao. Uh, the novel is a historical one showing the life of people in Cameroon during the colonialism. Kwa hiyo hichi kitabu ni cha kihistoria kinaonesha watu wa Cameroon wakati wa ukoloni. And also it shows how they suffered na kinaonesha ni namna gani walivyokuwa wakiteseka. Therefore, the title uh, relate much on what contained in the novel. 
kwa maana hiyo sasa jina la kitabu linahusisha kabisa au lina uhusiano mkubwa kabisa na kile kilichomo ndani ya novel. Now, I would like to tell you things to note in relation to the novel. Ah, vitu vya msingi sana ambavyo inabidi uvijue vilivyopo ndani ya riwaya yetu. The first is the novel was written in form of diary written by the main character namely Toundi before his death. Kwamba hii riwaya iliandikwa kwa mfumo wa diary ambayo hiyo diary aliyeandika pia ni muhusika ambaye anafahamika kwa jina la Toundi kabla ya kufa. Kwa hichi kitabu tunachokisoma Houseboy ina maana kiliandikwa na Toundi Ondua mwenyewe ambaye ndiye muhusika mkuu wa kitabu kabla ya kifo chake. Na maana baada ya kufundishwa na Father Gilbert how to read and how to write ndipo alipoanza kuandika dari ya historia ya maisha yao ya maisha yake na ndipo uh, ndo ndo hichi kitabu ambacho sisi tunakisoma kama uh, the houseboy and also another thing to notice that father gilbert is the one who taught toundi how to read and how to write kwamba uh, father gilbert pia ni miongoni mwa wahusika ambao wamemfundisha toundi ni namna gani ya kusoma uh, na namna gani ya kuandika uh, father gilbert also gave toundi a spiritual education which made him a catholic for Uh, pia Father Gilbert ni miongoni mwa wahusika ambao uh, walimpa elimu ya kiroho walimpa elimu ya kiroho mpaka uh, uh, ikamfanya Toundi aingie katika ukatoliki ukatoliki uh, and again the novel shows the african suffering under the french colonial rule lakini pia aliwa yetu inaonesha mateso ya Afrika yalikuwa akiwapata chini ya utawala wa kikoloni. People are harsh or beaten without a reason kwamba watu wanapigwa bila sababu. Example, Meroy is a cruel racist man. He beats African to death. Kuna mhusika anaitwa Meroy. Huyu anawapiga wa Afrika sana mpaka wengine wakawa wanafariki. And also, Tondis knows about Madame's extra marital affairs. Madame accused Toundi for the theft while Toundi is innocent. Kitu kingine cha kunote katika kitabu chetu ni kwamba Toundi Ondua alikuwa anafahamu jinsi gani mhusika anayefahamika kwa jina la Madame alikuwa na mahusiano na watu wengine tofauti na mme wake. Kitendo hichi kikamfanya Madame kumpa kesi ya wizi Toundi hali ya kuwa Toundi alikuwa ni mtu ambaye ni innocent, mtu ambaye ni mtakatifu hakufanya kosa hilo. Toundi is beaten violence by Lore and by Mendy he is later sent to hospital where he later escapes and go to his home where he dies due to injuries he gets from the law in prison lakini pia uh, baada ya Toundi uh, kupigwa na kunyanyaswa na muhusika anaitwa Morol na muhusika anaitwa Mendim uh, alipeleka hospitali lakini huko hospitali alitoroka kisha akaelekea nyumbani kwake lakini tukumbuke alikuwa na majeraha makubwa sana aliyopata kutoka kwenye kipigo kitakatifu cha Meroy akati yupo gerezani. Kwa hiyo Toundi dies trying to question about his identity. He says, "What are we black men who are called French?" Kwamba Toundi anakufa lakini anakufa akitetea utambulisho wake. Ndio maana anasema, "What are what are we black men who are called French?" Kwamba kwa nini sisi ni watu weusi lakini tunaitwa wa Faransa? Tukumbuke hata wakati wa ukoloni uh, mfaransa ya alikuja na kitu kinaitwa assimilation policy ile ilikuwa ni sera ambayo inalenga kuwabadilisha waafrika kuwa kama wafaransa waafrika wakawa wanazungumza kifaransa wanavaa kifaransa lakini pia hata majimbo yaliyokuepo huko afrika yakawa yanapewa majina ambayo ni sawa sawa na yaliyopo kule ufaransa kwa hiyo Tundu ndio ni mhusika ambao wanataka kupata identity yao, wapate utambulisho wao. Kwamba wazungu walitufanya sisi ni asimilado, lakini Tundu ndio akanataka uh, tujitofautishe kati ya Afrika zidi ya wazungu. Now, we're going to look on themes found in this poem. Uh, themes found in this novel. Kwa sasa tuangalie za mila zinazopatikana uh, katika riwaya yetu. First of all is all about colonialism. Za mila ya kwanza ni swala zima la ukoloni. Uh, the novel shows on how African people suffered under colonialism, white especially as the French in Cameroon, torture uh, to the natives and the subject them under the harsh condition uh, kwamba kitabu kinazungumzia ni kwa jinsi gani wa Afrika walivyokuwa wakihangaika chini ya utawala wa kikoloni sana sana hawa wa Faransa. Uh, in this novel Father Gilbert commanded and the Madame and the Meroy torture and exploit the native Africans like Toundi and the Sophia. 
tunaona usika kama commandant madame maroe wanafanya unyanyasaji kwa wazawa wa Kiafrika kama vile Toundi pamoja na Sofia kwamba tumeona Toundi alipigwa paka akafa a uh, father gilbert gives Toundi all the clothes as a payment for the severe him this is humiliation kwanza tunaona father gilbert anampa Toundi nguo ambazo zimechakaa kama malipo eh, kwa kazi ya houseboy anayofanya hii inaonesha ni humiliation kumaanisha udhalilisha moreover maroe beats torture and injuries to undi when he know that the boy knows their extramarital affairs with madam kwa mama maroe anampiga sana to undi ondoa kwa kuwa anajua kabisa huyu mtu anajua mahusiano yangu mimi pamoja na madam kwa hiyo kitu pia kinaonesha ni ukoloni ulikuwepo oppression ilikuwepo and also the death of taundi is caused by beating of meroe colonialist lakini pia hata kifo cha taundi ondoa kimesababishwa na kipigo alichokuwa kikipata kwa meroe ambao huu ni ukoloni ulio dhahiri and also ferdinand wants to show us on how colonialism was the most evil kwamba a uh, uh, mwandishi wetu ferdinand anajaribu kutuonesha ni jinsi gani ukoloni ulivyokuwa uh, ni uovu Another theme is all about Catholicism eh, or Christianity. Tutangalia zamila ya ukatoliki au ukristo. The novel shows the link between colonialist and the air Christianity in Africa. The novel shows that colonialist used the Christianity to bring wash the Africans. Kumba kitabu kinaonesha ni jinsi gani wazungu wanatumia ukristo kutupumbaza sisi akili. Catholic Church has been used to convert African and to make them to believe that whites are good people although they are not. Kwamba a kanisa la Kikatoliki katika hichi kitabu limetumika kwa convert watu waamini kwamba a wazungu ni watu wazuri lakini kiwalisia hawakuwa watu wazuri. And that their culture was superior while is not while African culture was not. Lakini pia kanisa likawa linafundisha kwamba utamaduni wa kizungu ndio bora kuliko wa Kiafrika. And also Catholic was portrayed as a means of colonization. Lakini a uh, Ukatoliki pia ulioneshwa kama ni njia mojawapo ya kuleta ukoloni. Uh, Father Gilbert, a Catholic leader, humiliated Toundi. So he is a moral father. Uh, Vendemere is abusive, characteristic like Martin a drunkard. Ah uh, tunaona wasika kama Father Gilbert ambaye alikuwa ni Catholic leader, kiongozi wa Wakatoliki. Anamnyanyasa Toundi ondua. Anampiga lakini pia uh, huyu ni kiongozi ambaye ni amoro hana maadili. Mhusika mwingine ambaye hana maadili ni Father Vendemere. Naye alikuwa hana maadili. He is abusive. Kakalisike like Martin a drunkard. Anajihusisha pia na maswala ya urevu. So, the polluted church and they make it unworthy. Kwa kanisa zima lilikuwa linaonekana limechafuliwa. Another theme in this book is all about modernity. Zamila nyingine katika uh, kitabu chetu ni swala zima la usasa. Uh, the novelist showed that the life of Cameroon is changing and becoming more modern due to the instruction of the colonialism. Kwamba a uh, mwandishi wa novel yetu ametuonesha ni jinsi gani maisha ya Cameroon yanabadilika na yanakuwa ya kisasa kutokana na ujio wa ukoloni. New ways of life are introduced by the whites. A style mpya za maisha zikaanza kuletwa na wazungu ambao ni French. Below are the ways introduced. Sasa miongoni mwa vitu vilivyokuwa introduced ni kama hivi vifuatavyo. Christ, Christianity is a new model of life in Cameroon. Kwa mfano, Ukristo ukaletwa kama ni njia ambayo ni ya kisasa katika mchi wa Kamer, katika nchi ya Cameroon kwa sababu Ukristo haukuepo kabla ujio wa wakoloni. Ndio maana tunaona usika kama Toundi wanabadilisha dini na anaitwa Joseph. Our schools are built in Dangani, lakini pia shule zikaanza kujengwa uh, maeneo mbalimbali kama vile Dangani and also foreign language especially french is used by the natives so it is a modern life lakini pia hata lugha ya kifaransa nayo ikaanza kutumika eh, hii pia tunaingiza katika modernity hii ni modern life maisha ya kisasa watu ndio wanasoma lugha za kigeni and also european entertainment like clubs also are introduced in cameroon for europeans lakini pia tunaona a uh, viburudisho vya wazungu kama vile maklabu yanaanzishwa katika mchi ya cameroon kwa ajili ya wazungu 
colonial leadership is also new in Cameroon. The commandant is the head of leaders. Lakini pia utawala wa kikoloni ni kitu ambacho ni kipya kabisa katika nchi ya Cameroon kwa mfano tunamuona huyu uh, mhusika anafahamika kwa jina la commandant yeye ndo amekuwa kiongozi mkuu and also condoms are also indicators of modernity lakini pia matumizi ya condom ni ishara moja hapo ya usasa condoms we are used by the madame and the prison warden kwa sababu tulikuwa tunaona mhusika alivamika kwa jina la madame alikuwa akitembea na prison warden yani ule mlinzi wa wafungwa eh, lakini walikuwa wakitumia condom and also hospitals we are also built by the wise lakini pia tumeona hospitali za wazungu pia zinajengwa all are the ways which show presence of modernity kwa manjia hizi zote zinaonesha uwepo wa usasa another issue are in this book is all about immorality dhamira nyingine ni mmomonyoko wa maadili this means a uh, moral pollution or lack of morals kwamba ina maanisha a uh, mmomonyoko wa maadili au kukosa maadili the novel shows that there is a moral pollution in our communities moral decay can be evidenced in the following aspect Mwanisha anaonesha jinsi gani maadili ya mambo mamonyoka lakini pia kaonesha katika aspect ya the fuatazo. There is a unfulfillment uh, and a promiscuity in our societies. Example, madame is extra marriage affair with the prisoner warden. Kwanza kaonesha tabia ambazo ni mbaya na hazikubaliki katika jamii mfano, mhusika anafahamika kwa jina la madame japokuwa ameolewa lakini uh, ana mahusiano uh, ya kimapenzi na the prisoner warden mlinzi wa wafungwa and also a uh, Kalisia used to be a prostitute at the cost mhusika mwingine ni Kalisia ambaye yeye anajihusisha na masuala ya umalaya pale cost Tundi betrays his tradition by running away from his home and one day before his initiation a ceremony lakini pia Tundi ondua anaoneshwa kama ni msaliti ambaye anakimbia utamaduni wake hizi zote ni saini za immorality yani mmomonyoko wa maadili and Tundi the fathers uses abusive language to insult Tundi when he want to start him something in your society's moral decay can be evidenced there are people who betray others there is infidelity in marriage and prostitution so them is relevant kwamba ah uh, lakini pia hata baba yake wa Tundi alikuwa akitumia abusive language lugha mbaya ya matusi akati akimuita Tundi kwa hiyo ah uh, uwepo wa vitu hivi vyote katika jamii zetu inaashiria kwamba dhamira hii bado ina uhalisia Another issue is all about conflict. Ah uh, issue nyingine ya kujadili hapa ni swala zima la migogoro. This refer to the misunderstanding between or among people. Kwamba hii ni kuto kuelewana miongoni mwa watu. Also there can be a conflict of oneself called intrapersonal conflict lakini pia kutaweza kukaa kuna mgogoro wa mtu ambaye tunaita ni intrapersonal conflict kwamba mgogoro wa nafsi. Below are the conflict depicted in this novel. Ah uh, ifuatayo ni migogoro ambayo imejadiliwa katika riwaya yetu. First of all is conflict between whites and African natives. Kwanza kuna mgogoro kati ya wazungu zidi ya wazawa wa Afrika. The reason of this conflict is all about exploitation done by whites to African. Na sababu kuu ya huu mgogoro ni kutokana na unyonyaji uliokuwa ukifanywa na wakoloni zidi ya wa Afrika. Another conflict is between Toundi and his father. Ngogoro kati ya Toundi pamoja na baba yake. The reason is Toundi fights with Tinat of a lump sugar and the father. Another reason is Toundi the father brutality. He beats Toundi too much till Toundi decided to run away. A sababu kubwa ya mgogoro huu ilikuwa ni kitendo uh, cha baba yake na Toundi kupenda kumpiga Toundi sana baka ikapelekea Toundi aweze kukimbia. Another conflict is between madame and her husband. Kuna mgogoro kati ya madame pamoja na mume wake ambaye alikuwa anafahamika kwa jina la the commandant. Uh, the reason of this conflict is the unfaithfulness of madame. She, she sleeps with another man. Uh, na sababu kubwa ya mgogoro huu ilikuwa ni kutokuwa mwaminifu uh, kwa mhusika anayefahamika madame ambaye alikuwa akilala uh, na mwanamume mwingine. Another conflict is between Sophie and agricultural engineer. Mmoja um, mgogoro mwingine ni kati ya Sofia pamoja na uh, engineer wa kilimo. The reason of this uh, conflict is maltreatment. The engineer maltreat Sofia, so Sofia is angry and decided to steal engineer's money and the causes. Uh, kwamba 
Injinia alikuwa hamtendei haki Sofia hali ambayo ilipelekea Sofia akapata hasira na akaamua kumuibia fedha pamoja na mavazi aliyokuwa akimiliki a uh, agricultural engineer another conflict is between Toundi and Tinat a uh, gogolo mwingine ni kati ya Toundi pamoja na Tinat uh, and the reason of this conflict is uh, the fight of a lump of sugar given them by wise a uh, kugomba ni sukari ambao walikuwa wamepewa na wazungu generally Uh, it is better to solve conflict wisely so as to avoid big harms. Kwa hiyo jumla uh, ni vema tuka solve hii migogoro kwa amani uh, bila kuleta fujo. Another issue to discuss in this book is all about betrayal. Zamila nyingine uh, katika kitabu chetu ni swala zima la usaliti. Uh, this refer to the act of going against with others agreement kwa makitendo cha kwenda kinyume na makubaliano uh, ya watu wengine. According to the novelist, betray is not good. Below are the betrayals shown in this novel. Ah, uh, na mwandishi wa riwaya yetu anaonesha kwamba migogoro si kitu kizuri katika jamii. Na ifuatayo ni baadhi ya migogoro ambayo mwandishi ameonyesha uh, katika kitabu chetu. First of all is uh, Tony betrays his father and his tradition by running away from his home one day before initiation. Kwamba Tony anamsaliti baba yake kwa kukimbia utamaduni wake na a uh, a uh, uh, na kuamua kwenda kwa wafaraza and also father van may betrays his faith uh, by maltreating the africans especially tonde lakini father van may pia anaisaliti imani yake eh kwa kumtreat vibaya uh, tonde pamoja na waafrika wengine and also madame betrays her husband lakini mhusika mwingine ni madame ambaye anamsaliti mume wake ambaye alikuwa anafahamika kwa jina la the commandant by sleeping with the prisoner director baada ya kuanza kulala na prisoner director uh, another issue is all about identity zamila nyingine ni swala la utambulisho why do we mean by identity identity refer to the sense of who one is kwamba kile kitendo cha kitu kinachotakutambulisha wewe ndicho tunachokiita identity as an african one must follow african culture kwamba ukiwa mwafrika lazima ufate uh, utamaduni wako but when he or she follows western culture and undervalue his or her she can be considered uh, as the one who lost identity kwa hiyo kama mtu asipofuata utamaduni wa Kiafrika na akafuata utamaduni wa nje kwa hiyo mtu huyo atakuwa amepoteza identity kama tunavyomwona Tondi Ondua baada ya kubadilisha dini na kujiita Joseph kwa alikuwa amepoteza identity yake Penzi msikizaji usahau kusubscribe a uh, kulike na comment katika channel yetu ili uendelee kupata uh, vitu vitamu kama hivi Naam Another issue to discuss in this book is all about the messages uh, found in this novel. Kwa sasa tuangalie ujumbe tunaopata katika uh, tamthilia yetu. First of all is colonialism is an evil system, uh, exploitative and humiliative. Uh, Swala zima la ukoloni ni jambo ambalo ni baya kwani linapelekea unyonyaji na uzalilishaji. And also some religious leaders are hypocrites. They preach what is they don't practice example for the vendmel lakini pia baadhi ya viongozi wa dini ni wanafiki kwani wanahubiri kile ambacho hawakitekelezi uh, another message is that betrayal exploitation and humiliation are hindrance to development kwamba usaliti unyonyaji pamoja na uzalilishaji ni kikwazo katika maendeleo another message is that african must be proud of who they are kwamba afrika lazima tuji proud kwa kile tulichokuwa nacho they should not undermine the status of think that they are inferior kwamba Afrika tusijione sisi ni dhaifu lazima tujione sisi ni superior another issue to discuss in this book is all about the characterization and the characters found in your novel kwa sasa tuangalie wahusika wanaopatikana katika kitabu chetu ah uh, wahusika katika kitabu chetu wapo wengi lakini baadhi yao ni kama hawa wafuatao kwanza tuna wahusika anafahamika kwa jina la Toundi Ondua he is a protagonist Oh main character in this novel ambaye ndiye mhusika mkuu wa hicho kitabu chetu he's a young man who come into a conflict with his father as a result of running away from his home and goes to live with father gilbert ambaye mhusika huyu ni kijana anayekimbia familia yake na kwenda kuishi na father gilbert he also he is a houseboy uh, of the title of this uh, novel delivered from him na huyu pia ni houseboy ambapo ndo jina la kitabu linatokea kwake yeye he is given the name of joseph by French 
after being baptized alipewa jina uh, la Joseph baada ya kubatizwa his brain washed kwa amefanywa brain washed amepumbazwa akili after uh, father gilbert death he has become houseboy of the commandant baada ya kifo cha father gilbert ndipo alipokuwa houseboy wa mhusika anafahamika kwa jina la father commandant he represent the exploited or colonized african kwa wanawakilishi wa afrika ambao wananyonywa na wanagandamiza he also reflect or represent child labor he started working for the father gilbert when he was uh, a child lakini pia anawakilisha zamila child labor kwani alianza kufanya kazi kwa father gilbert aliyekuwa bado ni mdogo another character in this book is the father gilbert mhusika mwingine ni father gilbert <coughs> Uh, he is a priest huyu ni mchungaji he takes toundi and live with him kwa maana mtu kwa toundi na anaishi naye he teach toundi how to read uh, to write and to keep a diary alimfundisha toundi na magani ya kusoma kuandika na kutengeneza diary ambayo ni kumbukumbu he seems to be kind to ndua uh, throughout humiliation by him by giving him uh, only all the crosses kwamba anajifanya kuwa ni mtu mzuri kwa toundi lakini alikuwa anamfanyia humiliation kwa kumpa all the crosses mavazi ambayo ni kuku eh, yamepitwa na wakati he dies of accident lakini mwisho wa siku alikufa kwa ajali he symbolize colonizer na amesimama kama symbol ya colonizers another character in this book is the father venmer na mhusika mwingine katika kitabu chetu ni father venmer he is also the priest who pia ni mchungaji he is a prophet religious leader who teaches to love but himself has no love kwamba huyu ni mnafiki kwani anafundisha dini ya kikristo watu wapendane lakini yeye mwenyewe hana upendo. He's racist, exploiter and oppressor. Kwa mhusika huyu pia ameoneshwa kama ni mhusika ambaye anabagua watu kwa rangi, anawanyonya na anawakandamiza. He maltreats Toundi lakini pia anamhudumia vibaya Toundi ndua. He also symbolizes colonialism, oppression and humiliation. Huyu pia anawakilisha swala zima la ukoloni, ugandamizaji pamoja na uzalishaji. Another character in this book is Commandant. Mhusika mwingine ni Commandant. He is a chief of European leaders in Dangani. Huyu ameoneshwa kama chief wa wazungu pale Dangani. He is brutal. He is seen touching African lakini pia ni mkatili kwani anawanyanyasa Afrika. At first he loved Taundi but when his marriage gets in trouble he hates him. Amara kwanza alimpenda Taundi lakini baada ya uh, ndoa yake kuingia matatani akamchukia Taundi ondoa. Another character in this book is Madame. Mhusika mwingine ni Madame. Uh, wife of the commandant, huyu ndiye mke wa commandant, very beautiful. Msiano wao alikuwa ni mzuri mno. She betrays the commandant by sleeping with another man at uh, the prison warden. Ila anamsaliti mmewe kwa kulala uh, na prison warden, mlinzi wa wafungwa. Uh, she, repre she represent the uh, the weakness of wise uh, being a moral. Kwamba msiano huyu anawakilisha au uh, udhaifu wa wazungu kwa kuonekana ni watu ambao ni amoro, yani wamekosa maadili. Another character in this book with Sophie. Uh, Sophie is a young African girl, uh, ni, ni binti wa Kiafrika. She is the mistress or girlfriend of agricultural engineer, lakini alikuwa ni uh, mke wa agricultural engineer uh, ambaye alikuwa ni mzungu who doesn't want the relationship known by the other people especially whites. Ambaye alikuwa anataka mahusiano yao yawe ya siri, yasitambulike na wazungu. She is humiliated by engineers because of uses her as a tool of pressure. Lakini pia alikuwa humiliated, alikuwa kinyanyaswa kwani alikuwa kitumika kama chombo cha stare. She later on become a conscious and hates whites. Lakini baadaye alikuja akapata ile sense ya kujitambua na akaanza kuwachukia wazungu. Now, this is Zims a uh, is relevant uh, uh, this book is very relevant in our contemporary societies although colonialism is no more uh, kwamba uh, kitabu hichi kitabakia kuwa ni relevant katika maisha yetu japokuwa uh, ukoloni haupo tena mm. issues such as uh, betrayal exploitation humiliation and hypocrisy and religious leaders are still prevented in our societies kwamba hizo zamila ambazo tumezitaja hapo juu uh, bado zipo katika uh, jamii zetu so In second discussion we are going to look form of this poem don't forget to subscribe to like and to comment in my channel ah katika discussion ijayo ijayo tutaangalia fani ya kitabu chetu lakini kwa sasa usahau kusubscribe ku like na comment katika channel yangu pia napatikana kwa namba za simu za 0769010272 au 0622584220 teacher Hassan Lemje napatikana kwa jina hilo pia YouTube waweza kuungana na mimi kupata uh, vitabu mbalimbali vilivyochambuliwa thank you for listening me wish you a good day